All right, this is One Last Midnight, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Midnight. Today, we're cooking chicken penne pasta primavera. But first, a history lesson. Okay, so what is primavera? So primavera stands for serve with a mixture of fresh vegetables or sauteed vegetables, depending on who you read the definition from. And pasta primavera was invented in 1975 by Sirio Marcioni. He's an Italian-born restaurateur and author, and he's the owner of the famous uh, restaurant Le Cirque in New York. So in 75, Sirio flew to the, uh, Canada to the summer home of the Italian baron Carlos Mato. I, uh, Amato? Amato. I don't know. I am pronouncing his name wrong. And as Marcioni and his two top chefs were experimenting with game and fish for dinner, you know, the Baron, being an aristocrat that he is, says, I want something different. Well, that's more of a French accent. <laughs> I don't do an Italian accent, so that's the best you're going to get. I want something different. <laughs> and uh, so they came up with a mixture of butter, cream, cheese with vegetables and pasta. And they wound up eventually bringing this recipe back to New York, which was pasta primavera. Now, that's not how I make my pasta primavera. So scratch all that nonsense. Forget <laughs> Sirio because he don't know what he's talking about. Let's check out my pasta primavera. All right, so first off, pasta primavera is, is very simple to make. It's four basic ingredients. You have your chicken, you've got your penne pasta, you've got broccoli, and you've got carrots. And I like to use the small baby carrots because they're just, tastes better. You know, the entire dish takes maybe 45 minutes with prep. Maybe a little bit less. I didn't time it, but, but around about 30 to 45 minutes with prep work. You know, and, and the entire prep work is really just the broccoli. I mean, that's, that's the only thing you really need to prep. And so you take your broccoli heads and you cut them up into little florets. You know, the, you take the branches off and you make them in smaller. And if, they, if they're kind of big, just cut them in half. You know, you want them to be a decent size, but not too, too big. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your broccoli and you open up your package of your baby carrots and you put it in a pot with water. Okay. Look, if you can't do that, stop now. Don't even go farther in this video. You can't accomplish this. Don't go any farther in this video. No, I mean it. Stop. <laughs> really, stop. So while I said there was no prep on the chicken, the only thing I really do with the chicken is I take it out of the package and I wash it. I just make sure that, that it's cleaned off and it has no, like, it's not covered in blood or anything. I just make sure it's nice and clean. That, that's really the only prep that I do on the chicken at this point. All right, so now it's time to get the water ready for the pasta, and you're going to need olive oil, salt, and, of course, the penne pasta. And look, hey, you know, I can't tell you enough. Season your water. Put in oil. Oil keeps the pasta separated. Put in salt. The salt flavors the pasta. Otherwise, it's just going to taste like, I don't know. It's just not going to taste that good. Okay, now time to get the chicken ready. And so we're going to need a pan. And we're going to use uh, several different things. We're going to use uh, olive oil, nature seasoning. We're going to use granulated garlic powder. And we're also going to use lemon pepper. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is put maybe about two to three tablespoons of oil into the pan. And then it comes time for seasoning. Now, I, I don't really know how to say this because I, I've never really measured this. But you want to liberally cover the chicken, each piece of chicken, with uh, nature seasoning and granulated garlic to the point where you've covered the top. I mean, don't go overkill. I make sure that I cover the chicken with uh, nature seasoning. I make sure that I cover the chicken with the granulated garlic powder. And then I put on a light amount of lemon pepper because lemon pepper tends to be pretty strong. You can really over flavor the chicken if you put too much lemon pepper on there but i'm gonna you know it's up to you too if you want a more lemony and peppery flavored chicken this is it now you're gonna think that it's a lot of seasoning it is it's a lot of seasoning but the reason for all this seasoning is because you're gonna be mixing this chicken juice and chicken into the pasta and the vegetables which has zero seasoning at all so by the time you're done the balance of seasoning is going to come out just right it's going to coat all the other elements inside of this dish and it's going to taste fantastic i think i just salivated next thing to do is just get it started all at the same time put on 
the water for the pasta to high, put on the water for the vegetables to high, put on the chicken temperature at medium low. So in between medium and low, you don't want to cook the chicken too fast. Otherwise you're going to burn it. It's not going to cook all the way through. You don't want to cook it too slowly because it's going to take too long. So the medium low tends to work out really well for cooking the chicken. All right, so cooking time. So the chicken is gonna take roughly 20 to 30 minutes depending on how thick the chicken is. These chicken breasts happen to be very thick and I think I wound up cooking them for about 25, 30 minutes. The pasta and the uh, vegetables are gonna be varying times. The vegetables are gonna finish first. Mainly it's a smaller pot. The water's gonna boil faster. And that's going to take, after the water's boiling, maybe about mm, five to seven minutes. You're going to want to test the carrots. The carrot, if you can get your fork into the carrot without too much resistance, then it's done. But you don't want them over soft. So make sure that there is still some resistance in the carrot there. And for the pasta, the pasta you're going to have to test it. Typically, penne pasta cooks 10, 15 minutes. I like mine a little al dente. So I tend to cook it a little bit less. I don't like mushy pasta, but of course I don't want it super hard either. I don't want it crackling in my mouth, but I, I cook it where there's still a little bit of resistance left. Okay, so on to the cooking. Uh, you know, here it's been about, I don't know, five, six minutes in. I'm flipping the chicken and you can see how much seasoning I'm putting on. I'm, I'm liberal. I mean, look, liberally putting on nature seasoning on the chicken On each piece of these chickens, I'm, I'm just absolutely covering it with nature seasoning. You know, if you had to guess, maybe that's like three tablespoons, maybe more. I'm not too sure. Then the garlic, same thing. A lot of garlic on there on each piece of chicken. Just absolutely covering up the chicken. And then that little bit of lemon pepper, you know, not a lot of lemon pepper on each chicken. I, like I said, lemon pepper can really overpower it. At this point, it's been about 10 minutes. My water's finally boiling for the pasta. So I'm going to drop the pasta in. I'm just going to stir up the vegetables just a little bit to make sure that the vegetables are mixed up pretty well. Also, I'm stirring in the pasta. Make sure you stir that pasta so it doesn't stick. You know, that's the first first step that you have to do. I'll come back five minutes later. I'm giving the pasta another stir. Now the vegetables are pretty much done. I'm going to test that carrot. Yep, the vegetables seem like they're pretty much done. So time to take the vegetables off. I'm going to take the vegetables out, strain them in a colander. Make sure all the water is gone out of the vegetables. And then turn around and put the vegetables right back into the same pot. Now the vegetables are warm, so the, they're going to cook a little bit longer uh, in their own temperature. So that's the reason why you want to take them out early while they're still a little bit stiff because they're going to cook a little bit longer. Back over to the chicken and pasta. I did cover up the chicken. I wanted to make sure the chicken cut, cooked all the way through. And I'm just stirring in the pasta. I, a quick look at it to make sure that it's not, it, it's, uh, it's not quite ready yet. Make sure to flip that chicken. You know, come back every couple minutes. Make sure that chicken is flipped. You know, by now it's been a good 10, 15 minutes that the pasta is coming in. So I'm taking out some pasta to try it, to test it out. And at this point in time, it's pretty much ready. You know, I give it a taste, but I think it's ready to go. So it's time to drain the pasta. And I drain the pasta out in the same colander that I did with the vegetables. And what's really important is you got to put cold water on your pasta. This arrests the cooking. If you leave your pasta hot, it will continue to cook. So make sure you put cold water on there. Get it back down to room temperature or colder than room temperature. And uh, that'll stop the cooking process of the pasta. I put that pasta right back into the same pot. And then I also turn around and pour the vegetables on there and mix the vegetables and pasta together once the pasta has been completely strained and uh, all the water has been removed. Now the chicken's been cooking a good 25 minutes, so I'm taking out a piece of chicken to test it just to make sure. I took out the largest chicken breast and I just cut the backside, the thickest piece to look at it. And it's absolutely, it's perfect. It's, it's, uh, there's no pink in there and it's still really moist. 
Okay, so at this point, what you want to do is you want to take the chicken out and you want to take all that juice that's still in the pan, scrape that juice, get all that juice into the pot where the pasta and the vegetables are at and let it sit for about 10 minutes. After the chicken is rested and the juices are, are uh, have wound up going into the, the pot with the pasta and the vegetables, it's time to cut up the chicken. You know, first I, I stir those vegetables. I stir all that seasoning into the vegetables and the pasta to make sure that I get that all mixed up really, really nice. And of course, you got to give it a little bit of a taste test to make sure the seasoning's good. And it was perfect at this point. And then we spend the time cutting up the chicken making sure that we got all that chicken in there. This chicken turned out to be really juicy and really tasty. And when you're cutting this chicken, the last chicken, make sure you, you soap up all of that, all of that chicken juices from the, the cutting because your chicken is gonna you know run some of those juices. Make sure you get all that juice into that pot with that chicken. You know, the final stage is just to mix it all together and mix it thoroughly because not only you have the chicken juices and some of the seasoning from the chicken, uh, you want to mix that in with the pasta and the vegetables so that some of that extra seasoning that's on the chicken comes off and gets on the pasta and vegetables. And when you're done, you got a beautiful plate of chicken penne pasta primavera. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Put a like if you liked the video. Leave comments in the comment section below. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. We'll see you guys again soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.